oh shit, it's finally here. What's up, people? Welcome back to the channel. And on today's episode of On The Clock, we will be doing a live reaction to the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer that just dropped today about 8.30 p.m. EST. And trust me, guys, it is lit. It's fire. But before we get into it, please hit the like button. It helps out with the algorithm. Don't ask me how, but it does help my channel get seen by more people. So I appreciate the support. Also, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. I do appreciate everybody that supports my channel, and I hope you guys subscribe to it if you like what you see. It helps out, so I do appreciate that. And last but not least, if you do decide to subscribe to the channel, please make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my uploads. You won't miss any of my roundtables, watch parties. We do live streams almost every day. And I would love for you guys to come and enjoy it with all the fun. Now, with that being said, guys, we are going to get into it. That is correct. The Spider-Man No Way Home trailer dropped today. And like I said earlier, I think it's fire. So let's do a reaction to it. And if you guys like the trailer, make sure you leave a comment and let me know what you thought about it. Were you disappointed with it? But we'll get into it. So this is the trailer. We're going to go and do a live reaction to it. Let's see how it goes. Let's do it. See that scene when it starts off looks like the, the picture that Campia leaked. Where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. Watch that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider Man. <laughs> we started getting some visitors. From every universe. Fire. Fire. Hello, Peter. You're not Peter Parker. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? There are others out there. We need to send them back. So, Scooby-Doo this crap. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please. Scooby Doo, this crap. You're flying out into the darkness. To find Love it. Ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider Man. It's their fate. Love it. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Look, there has to be another way. There is it. There are danger to our universe. Stark Tech. You're not gonna take this away from me. Peter. You're struggling. And everything you want. While the world tries to make you choose. This is all my fault. I can't save everyone. So one thing I will say is, yes, it does look fire, 100%. Um, a few things I'll take away from it is, one, when Spider-Man's in the black suit and he has the rings around his wrist, I didn't notice Electro was in the background. They made Electro look really good in this. He looks a lot better than he did in that amazing Spider-Man crap. And if you guys follow me, you already know how I feel about those movies, right? Um, at the end, 
when MJ is falling off of the tower, kind of looks like it's coming from like a, a relation or, you know, like they got that from the Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie with Gwen Stacy falling down. So that's pretty interesting as well, too. I don't think she's going to die, though. Um, I do think somebody might die in this movie. And if we do get Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, it may be one of them. A lot of people are upset that we didn't see them in the trailer. But I think that's a good thing, because if they are in this movie, it still keeps people guessing, right? We just had a long conversation on Storms Live about it. And, you know, some of us believe that they're in it, in it, and some of the, us are 50-50 with it. I'm 50-50 with it. But if they're not in it, it's not going to cha- change my enjoyment of the movie, because this trailer to me looked absolutely fire. So I'm definitely excited to see this movie. Um, one thing I noticed is when the first trailer came out and Dr. Octavius was like, hey, Peter Parker, we're like, well, how do you know that's Peter Parker? You know what I mean? Like, maybe it's someone else. But when he hits him against the wall, takes off his mask, says, you're not Peter Parker, that explains that. So there's a lot of things in this trailer that kind of explain some things that people had issues with the first trailer. But the one thing is we get five Sinister Six characters. So they're still hiding that six one. Could it be Venom? Could it be Mysterio? Could it be someone else? Who knows? But at the end of the day, I like the fact that they are hiding a few things in this movie, right? Because I bring it all, I say it all the time. When we talk about Crisis on Infinite Earth, I know, DC, CW, I get it. Maybe you didn't like it. Maybe you did. But one thing, is that when Ezra Miller showed up in it, people lost their minds. The internet went crazy. They couldn't believe that they actually pulled that off. So I'm hoping that in this movie, they do pull off some shit that has us like, holy cow. Like, I believe this will be the best Spider-Man movie that comes from the MCU, right? How it's going to end, we don't know. I do believe that it's going to end with Tom Holland Spider-Man ending up in the Sony verse and they're going to take him back and then Marvel's going to move on without Spider-Man until they make another deal. Who knows? But at this point, I love the fact that I don't know what's going on. And I've said it many times. I think a lot of the movies that come out, they get leaked, they get spoiled. And then when you go into the movie, you're not surprised because you already heard rumblings of things that were going to happen in this movie. So please don't show us any more trailers. I think we got what we needed to get from this. A lot of people will be like, well, Thanksgiving Day, maybe we'll get some TV spots and stuff like that. I don't want TV spots. I don't want, unless they're TV spots that show what we've seen in the trailer. You know what I mean? Just cut up into shorter versions of it. I'm okay with that. But I do not want to see any more. I do not want to know if Tom Holland... I'm sorry, if Tobey Maguire and Andrew and Garfield are in this movie, I want to go into the movie and I want to be surprised with that. I enjoyed it. I think the trailer, out of a trailer, it's definitely an 8 out of 10 because it didn't show too much, but it showed enough to whet your appetite for this movie. So I think that it's going to make a lot of money. Maybe it could be the highest grossing movie of the year. possibly, right? Because the other Marvel movies that came out, they're mediocre to me. Not that great, not that good. They're okay. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, I'm definitely down for this. I definitely want to see it. And I can't wait for December for this movie to come out. With that being said, guys, going to close it up. Much appreciated to all of you that came in here and watched my video. Much appreciated to everybody that hit the like button. If I get new subscribers, thank you very much. Just to let you guys know that I also have a membership. I don't have that many memberships members. I think I have like four. But if I get more members, then I'm going to definitely do stuff for the members, live streams with the members or something like that. But I'm definitely working on doing stuff for my members. So if you want, please subscribe to the channel and become a member as well, you know, and, you know, come join the fun and enjoy the stuff that we do over here. You know, I stream with a lot of great people and we have a lot of content that I think that a lot of you will enjoy. But with that being said, I'm going to close it up. 
Just let me know in the comments what you thought about this trailer. If you liked it, if you liked my video, if you didn't like it, if you're disappointed that Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire weren't in it, I want to know all of that. And I will respond to all the comments that I get. With that being said, guys, peace, love, and hair grease. I am out. See you on the next one. Bye.